Hi everyone, welcome back to Spinning Web Flux Essentials. In this video, we are going to secure our endpoints. So, before we start, we need the dependencies. Just go to the pond.xml and we are going to add two dependencies here. The first one will be Spring Boot Starter Security or Spring Boot Framework. And the next one, I'm going all the way down because uh, I'm going to add the one related to the security tests. Spring dash security dash test and just make sure that you import everything. Okay, now we need uh, one class. Let's create actually a package first. Let's call this package config and inside this package let's create a Java class called security config. Okay, so if you saw the, the previous uh, playlist, the Spring Boot one, you realize that when we are uh, creating the security config, we need to extend web security configure adapter. But here in this case for web flux, that's not needed. We have to enable only one thing, enable web flux security. And we have to create two bins. The first bin will be the security filter chain and the second bin will be the user details service. So let's create the first one and we are going to define how we are going to secure the endpoints. So we create here at uh, bin and then public security web filter chain. And then you can give any name, server HTTP security and you can call this HTTP brevity okay so now pretty simple uh, I'm going to use formatter off and here I'm going to use formatter on from IntelliJ and I'm going to return and now I will do the configuration so first HTTP and uh, for the sake of simplicity I'm going to disable the CSRF and uh, no, actually here we don't need any, still we need here authorized exchange. So the authorized exchange, we'll, we could just block everything, but I would like to block uh, based on the HTTP method. So oh, I'm going to use here path matchers, it's not end matchers, it's path matchers now. And I would like, for example, the HTTP post for any URL that is inside animes to be secured and require the role admin. And for the get, I will say that I just want the user. And then we need here to tell that any exchange should be authenticated. And if we want, we can set a nice form login and we can define that this form login will have the authentication through HTTP basic and you just build this HTTP to return security web filter chain okay now that we have this Let's uh, create the second bin that's actually the user. So we are going to use uh, for now in memory user. So just create another bin that will be map reactive user detail service. User detail service. So user details from Spring. And uh, we can create a password encoder. So it's 2020. We don't need to use uh, plain text. And now you can create a user through user Spring Security Record user details dot uh, with username and uh, we can use a username here called user and then password password encoder dot encode we can give uh, that dojo and then roles this user will be the one representing the user with role user and we are going to build this just create one 
reference variable for the user and you can duplicate this one and in my case the second one will be admin and admin let's give the username admin same password but the role now will be admin or if you want if you want to have access to both user admin now just return new map reactive user detail service and you can send both users here user and admin okay so I think this is everything that we have to do so far let's start our application make sure you have your database running and let's go to postman so we have the application started and here I'm going to get all the enemies you can see that we have uh, 401 and we can come here to off set the basic off and here we have user and the password is dev dojo so now we have access to everything and if we try to send this post with uh, only one element or one let's try with user and password dev dojo actually this is what we're expecting and now admin cool now let me do a quick test let me rename this user here to dev dojo dev dojo and i will rename the password uh, it's just a quick test that i'm going to do and i will refresh restart the application and here I will remove no oft, make sure that it is working because I faced some problems when I was doing some tests and let's see if these problems are still there. Okay. So now we are going to basic auth again. Live Dojo Academy. Show password. Cool. So this is uh, how we secure all the endpoints, but let's say that you would like to secure one specific endpoint differently. You would like, for example, just one quick example, uh, the list all to have admin access only. So we can do that by enabling reactive method security. By doing this, you can come here to the list all and use the pre-authorize, and you can tell that has has any or has role admin just by doing this and I'm building the project instead of restarting everything I will go back here and I will try to execute this and you can see that I need to be admin admin and then have dojo Cool, so let me just uh, roll back here to user in the dojo. And this is everything that I have to tell you in this video. So, see you in the next one. Bye.